Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for love and wealth for the next three months. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, my darlings, um, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. If you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so let me switch up camera views here. So we're going to first start out with love and then wealth. And it's going to cover the months of April, May, and June. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's going to happen with my Virgo's romantic love life for the next three months? Give me nine cards for that. What's going to happen with my Virgo's career and finance for the next three months? Give me nine cards for that. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. Oh my goodness, we're starting off with the Tower card in the month of April here, okay. There is the Hermit card. We got the Empress card, okay. Let's just put that there for now. I'm gonna lay down the rest here. This is May. This is June. Okay, let me put this to the side here. Okay, so obviously there's going to be a massive event, okay? Massive change, massive event that is beyond your control. And interesting enough, in the month of April, you guys have three major arcanas. Arcana card says something's going on with the universe with you guys, that's something beyond your control. Now it's interesting because what could be a sudden event? Let's mirror this. We have the Empress. Now the Empress is obviously the divine feminine, but what, is, what else does she represent? She represents fertility, pregnancy, okay? A mother energy. So this big event is surrounding those types of things. And obviously you're in a state of, I need to think about this. I need to deeply think about what happened here and bring light to what this situation is because this rocked me to my foundation. Okay, so let's get more clarity on exactly what's going on here, okay? What's gonna happen with my Virgo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for my Virgo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Virgo's career and finance for the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's clarify this tower card, this massive change. What the heck is this massive change about? Okay, so there is, okay, so this is the living room card, which talks about a meeting, okay? Small group of people, alone time with someone, okay? It's an intimate place, it's not, it's not where like there's a public, okay? This is a private place, okay? Which caused this massive change, okay? And we see that this is definitely because of beauty and attraction, okay, with the peacock card. And it is a, a long-term commitment here. We see the marriage card, the wedding card. So we see the shock and surprise happen because of this alone time together. And a lot of soul searching is going on about this, uh, the fact that I'm really attracted to you. I want your attention, okay? The Empress is saying, okay, there is a, a lot of potential here, all right? Or also the Empress is like the Peacock card as well in uh, the fact that I want your attention. You know, I find you very attractive. If it's not the sense of pregnancy, okay? Or uh, because if we get the, uh, we'll just go further here and we'll bring it all together. All right, so what's gonna happen my Virgo's romantic love life for the next three months, please? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so book card talks about some kind of intuitive thing here. 
spiritual, gaining some kind of knowledge, intimate time alone, which caused a massive change. Oh, okay, we got the family card coming out. It is reconfirming that something about this situation involves family, starting a family, or pregnancy for some of you guys. Whoa, okay. Um, marriage talks about something to do with marriage involved in the situation, okay. Or it could just see some kind of commitment here to starting a family, okay. And we see that there's communication, something written, letter, message, document. Let's even go a little further here, Virgo. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, give me more clarity on this particular tower card. I want to clear cut as possible, Spirit. What kind of cards I need to see? Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this is because of overindulgence of love, which causes massive change. Main person wants to kiss and make up, and there's something in secret going on here that brought a lot of happiness away. Okay, so definitely for some of you guys, a lot of you guys, this has to do with fertility, pregnancy, all those kinds of things, okay, starting a family kind of thing. For others of you, it has to do with a mother energy, okay? Um, because obviously we see Empress represents the, she's the mother of the major arcana, but let's go further. All right, what's gonna have my Virgo romantic love life? Give me nine cards to that. What's gonna have my Virgo's career in finance? Give me nine cards to that and make the timing for the next three months for both. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. Oh, well, obviously you see that card wants to come out again, talking about overindulgence. All right, what did I agree to here? Oh my goodness. Uh, this is causing some issues. Okay, so somebody's not really happy about this unexpected situation, which happened because of overindulgence, because for some of you guys, there may be marriage involved somehow. Okay, um, hmm. Okay, you guys are starting off with a bang here, I see. Okay, um, let's move to the month of May. All right, so I wanna hold on to you for pentacles energy. We see that there is a divine connection. Okay, we got the twin flame, soulmate card, the lover's card's coming out. And there is strong desires for a victory here, okay, with the chariot card energy. All right, so we see, I wanna hold on to you, Virgo. I wanna hold on to this relationship. I want a victory. I have strong will to bring things forward. Okay, so let's go further. So I wanna heal this situation. I wanna get help. I wanna get counseling. And I want to uh, give an invitation. I want appreciation. There's the child card coming out. Um, I want strong desires. I want a victory when it comes to a child. A fresh start, new opportunity. Okay, um, maybe I was a little bit naive about this. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm confused about what to do, but I don't want to make any abrupt decisions to cut things away or cut them out because of some kind of deceptions or something hidden about the situation. Okay, I love you. And uh, uh, lots of love for you, abundance, main person. So there's lots of love uh, for the main person. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Definitely if you guys feel comfortable, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below so far. So that's May. Let's see what's going on with uh, June. Okay. So we got a lot of romantic gestures being taken here with the Knight of Cups energy. Okay. And we have this big event, the shocking surprise here, this massive change, tower card energy. Towards a happy outcome here with the sun card energy. Okay, going further. And we see some kind of travel movement or change happening. Again, you see this massive change here towards a happy outcome because of romance, actions towards love. Page of Wands shows me Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, potential for passion, some exploratory energy there. And we see someone's listening to their intuition. And they're gonna have to make a, a decision very soon, or you're gonna have to make a decision very soon. 
because of something to do with the past, memories of the past, something pertaining to the past. And we see there's a little bit of a crossroads about the situation with the Two of Swords energy. And we see that because of travel, movement, or change, or a foreign element here, someone is getting some kind of spiritual confirmations, listening to their intuition to try to bring things together. So let's bring it together as a whole picture. You know how I am. I like to be clear cut. So it looks to me like some overindulgence happened, uh, which caused an unexpected uh, situation because of attraction. And for some of you, it could have been or could be fertility, pregnancy, okay? Uh, and someone's like, I don't know if I want to agree to this, okay? Or commit to this situation because for some of you, somehow marriage is involved with this situation, okay? So I don't know if I want to break up. I don't want to, if I want to deal with this. But then there is some things resolved in the month of May. I love you. I, I, I have lots of love for the main person. Okay. Then we see, and there were some, some changes that happened uh, going into June, talking about travel and looking into memories of the past uh, to help bring things together. Okay. So let's bring it all together here, Virgo. Don't worry, I'm gonna get some advice after this, okay. All right. Um, there was some kind of secret uh, or knowledge of a family situation, conflict that happens, or wanting to start a family and something about family which causes conflict. We see communication that causes some confusions, all of a sudden, shock, you know, like the sudden aspects of things because there was concerns because there was something deceptive or hidden about it. We see that there is positive energy surrounding this and a sense of happiness towards the month of June and now a decision is about to be made and we see someone's listening to their intuition or um, getting some kind of spiritual confirmation. Okay. Okay, so and let's look at the bottom of the deck. Single and available to pursue people involved with this situation stressing about an ex-partner and cautious and defensive because of romantic feelings and wanting to make the effort, wanting to make the best decision. Okay, and a power move was made in a passionate way, which we know, okay. So there is this shock and surprise happening uh, because of this alone time together. And uh, we see that I wanna hold on to you, I wanna get help, I wanna heal the situation. Uh, this is the doctor card, okay. And we see that there's this shock and surprise uh, massive changes here and we see lots of romantic gestures I'm deeply thinking about this I'm very attracted to you you know I find you very attractive we see there's a relationship a divine connection I want to give to this and I want to explore some things here um, and spiritually I feel like they're we're intuitively connected we see Empress talks about fertility mother energy starting a family and we see a marriage or commitment to uh, moving um, with the chariot card energy, there's a couple of moving cards here. We also have this card, which is talking about the journey card. Because of this child, because of uh, this new situation, this fresh start, okay, with the baby card coming out or the child card coming out. And we see there are some indecisions about moving or traveling here with the journey card coming out. Okay. So if I want to sum it up, uh, I see so far that some alone time with someone happens around April, which causes a massive change. It looks like it's to do with fertility for some of you guys, because also the child card's coming out, okay? So it looks like a child may, uh, so I would say to you guys, just be careful if you're not wanting some kind of unexpected pregnancy. Now, if it, that's not the case for some of you guys, because I know not all of you guys are in that kind of situation, it could also be uh, a mother energy, something to do with a mother energy, okay? Uh, and some kind of conflict with a mother, okay? Which is, uh, it's like kind of cause some, some big issue here. Um, it does look like um, the, the person wants to, or you guys want to stay together and hold on to this. And also some of you guys look like there is some kind of distance or far away kind of energy. So. Some of you guys are at a distance to this person because we got the chariot card and we, of course, had the journey card, which is the travel card. 
or you're debating about travel because of this issue that happens. And um, we see Knight of Cups talks about there's romantic gestures and there's potential for passion and flirting going on and a crossroads. Now I can see this another way as well. Some of you guys, if that's not your case, okay, I can see another thing going on as well here. Where there's a strong attraction here, okay, somebody still may be attached to someone else there and um, there's a want to be with this new person, to hold on to the relationship and to uh, move uh, because we see potential signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, and you're at a crossroads about the choice you need to make. Okay, so I see three different scenarios there. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice? for my Virgo's romantic love life for the highest good, for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to the romantic love life in the next three months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so it's fair to sing, love is your energy. Okay, so know that we're made of love. That's the reason why we're here. It's supposed to be following your heart and learning about love. Trust your intuition. It definitely was giving you a lot of spiritual confirmations. We had the hermit card energy. We had the, the uh, priest card for the gypsy. So it was definitely showing strong spiritual confirmation or you were getting a lot of spiritual signs. Your kindness counts. So in this situation, if it is for a family conflict or another person that's causing some kind of conflict here, know that your kindness counts. And so just be uh, aware that you don't want to get triggered in this situation. Uh, it says, possess self-confidence, focus on the positive, and you are never alone. Like attracts like. Don't relinquish your power and practice moderation. So I would get the sense that because there's a, for some of you guys, um, a motherly energy there for some of you guys, um, uh, I would say that... Uh, and they may be trying to, uh, they may be causing some conflict in this situation. They're saying stand your ground, okay? Um, and be, uh, practice moderation here. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look at your career and finance here. Okay, so you're starting out the month of April in a very stable place with the Four of Wands energy. And you got this huge potential here with the Ace of Pentacles energy. Um, some of you guys are looking at a, a brand new situation with the Ace of Pentacles, but there's something about this situation. It's very solid um, and it's looking good for the future there. Judgment, some of you guys are receiving uh, a judgment here, okay? Um, because you've already laid down the foundation and now it's like there's potential for a lot of money here. Okay, and for things to go in your favor. For others of you, okay, something is going to go in your favor when it comes to this new potential opportunity because you already have a very solid foundation with the Four of Wands. Some of you guys uh, are getting a house or real estate, okay, and uh, you're getting it through a judgment, something legal here, okay. So, and there's huge potential for a lot of money when it comes to that. So, let's keep going here. April, we have, you guys are, there's something that happened from before, okay? So whatever is going on with this situation, this solid foundation, this house, it is something that you already were kind of working out from before, okay? So it's something that was already coming together from before. Um, it does look like there's a little bit of self-doubt or an infringing party involved with this. But because you are doing a lot of plans, you have a lot of thoughts, you're really using your head here. You've gained a lot of knowledge about the situation. That's why things are going to go in your favor. You may have kept this to yourself and you're definitely in that state of recovery there towards a happy outcome with the sun card energy. So let's move to the month of May. Knight of Pentacles is showing me that you're really being in the month of May very strategic with your actions. Because um, you're um, concerned about getting complacent. And so you're like, look, I need to be wise, I need to be patient, and I need to be calculated in my moves. 
Yeah, Sam, see, we go here with the Seven of Pentacles is exactly what I feel like. You're waiting around, you're allowing things to kind of grow here, and you're being patient in the month of May. It definitely shows to you that you're very lucky in this month because we got the fortune card coming out. And there is something that you truly love here around this situation with the love card. Oh, wow. You guys are going to have more than enough money to be able to do some other things that you want to do. Some of you guys are uh, able to do something um, on your own with a self uh, sense of independence. And you're able to, either you're talking to people, some of you guys are, because this is a lot of people here. So you guys are independently like talking to people or doing something where you're making money or earning money through talking to people through the public somehow, whether that be on a conference level, a speaker for some of you guys, um, possibly some of you guys are networking, okay, with this conversation card coming out, doing something on the internet, okay, something to do with a lot of people. And it's, it's moving into the direction that you really wished for with the wish card coming out. So it looks like you're making really good moves here in the month of May towards things that you love and, and stuff that you only dreamed of. So it's definitely something that you've wished and desired for a long time. So let's move into the month of June here. So you're getting clarity and answers here with the Ace of Swords about a situation where you felt was like a little bit deceptive or sly or slick. And you decided, you know what, I'm really just going to put my whole back into this. I'm really going to just put a lot of effort into this situation. It looks like uh, in the month of June, you're working together with others. You're collaborating here with the Three of Pentacles energy and you're building something. You get some kind of letter, message, document or paperwork here. And you feel a little bit overwhelmed, okay, with the attack card coming out. I guess that's, I feel that's why you're probably putting a lot of effort into the situation. Okay. And because of this, you're like, oh, I feel a little bit defensive about the whole thing, cautious about the whole thing. But I'm just going to focus on being happy with the situation with these other people. Even though there may be things that I'm not really thrilled about, I'm just going to try to focus on the, the happy or the positive side of it. Okay, so... For the month of June, it's a little bit, it's a little bit up and down. I feel like so far the best month here is obviously April and May, but more May. May is your best month here for the next three months. Uh, for the month of June, it's a little bit, it looks like you're working a lot harder. You're a little bit overwhelmed, um, maybe possibly a little bit burdened here. And you're concerned that, you know, you need to put the effort in because you don't want things to break apart. So that's why I get the sense you're very cautious. Um, and it also looks like you're collaborating with other people because you feel, and you're, you're putting extra work into the situation because you feel that there's something about this situation with these people that you don't feel like maybe they're pulling their weight all the way or there's something sly or slick about this situation. Uh, maybe with the, this written contract or commitment here. Um, I get the sense that you're getting clarity and getting answers and you feel mentally, ah, oh, it's like an aha moment. But you are finding creative solutions and you're working together with others and it's making you a little bit cautious. So you may be like how I am. Um, I have a hard time sometimes giving relenting control and like I like to do everything on my own. And uh, you know, uh, I feel like that's exactly what kind of energy you guys have in the month of June here. It's kind of like you have other people working together with you, but you feel like still kind of like, uh, cautious about it like you feel like you have to really you know come at these people to make them work harder because you're cautious that you don't want things to break apart but then on the same token you know you want to be happy about the fact that you have this kind of situation going on so let's bring it all together so we see that you guys are doing some things behind the scenes and you're making the wisest decision you're you're really putting the work into recovering from your situation towards things that you love um, you feel a little bit overwhelmed, but very happy because you're going towards something you've always wished for. But also because of the fact that you really want it to work, you're just afraid like, okay, things are going to break apart, you know, that kind of energy.
Okay, so let's keep going here. Okay, so, so we have uh, memories of the past, something to do with the past. There was some kind of stuck, complacent energy. Some deceptions are lying from an infringing party, but then timing works out for you guys and you get this communication, something written, letter, message, document, paperwork. And there's definitely a lot of thoughts and plans about this conversation, this big, huge meeting, uh, this group of people that brings you a sense of joy. All right, going further. Um, when it comes to a house, uh, real estate, or a solid foundation here, we got that four of wands energy. You're very strategic in your actions. You're getting clarity about a huge opportunity. And so you're investing time, money into it, and seeing how it plays out. You're working together with others, collaborating towards a creative solution. Things are going your favor, and you're having this sense of independence or having more than enough money to do what you want, but you are a little bit cautious and defensive uh, by the end of June. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Virgos when it comes to their highest best good, when it comes to their career and finance? Show me cards that you can see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look here. So it's saying that things are aligning for you for a reason, that it's time that you have to make sure that there's going to be an equal exchange, okay? Because we see exchange of gifts. Listen to your intuition when it comes to this opportunity. You already know you have the wisdom and deeper knowing to go the distance here to win this situation, but don't let yourself go around in circles and repeat the same patterns, okay? Yeah, and again, it's saying you have a victory in the here and now, so all right, my beautiful Virgos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Also, I love hearing from you guys. So I do read my comments. So if you want to claim this reading, if this reading resonates with you, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.